foul smells plaguing the nostrils of residents in the Child's Park neighborhood for decades. It deeply impacts the quality of living for Child's Park residents. I feel that the impact um, in some ways can't be measured. Last fall, thanks to a grassroots effort by residents, a team of researchers from Eckerd College and the University of South Florida began to study exactly what the smell is. So far, their data has found high levels of hydrogen sulfide in the air. But the big question, where is it coming from? One data point is an anecdote. We need to have multiple data points and that would be solid science. Child's Park is a predominantly black neighborhood with an industrial corridor. I think this is a sign of systematic racism. I think this is a clear sign and indicator for all those who may think it's not real that uh, uh, industrial corridor could be constructed around the largest concentration of youth in Pinellas County. And it just happened to be black youth. Historically, less desirable neighborhoods known as red line districts were created near industrial, commercial or military facilities. Now, decades later, residents in these communities are working together to better understand the impact. One of the next steps we take, if not the most important step we take, see how is it and measure how is it impacting, you know, the health and the lives of our citizens, not only you know, the vulnerable citizens like the elderly, youth, um, people who are predisposed with different health conditions, but how is it affecting the regular everyday citizen who walks around here for exercise? But toxic levels aren't the only factors researchers consider. When we're looking at the health effects, it is not necessarily directly respiratory, cardiovascular. It could be just as simple as you just don't have enough joy of the outdoors. And it also probably decreases their property value if there is something smells constantly in the neighborhood and they cannot figure out what it is. The research team told me what, if any mitigation will be needed in Child's Park has yet to be determined. That will take more research, which means more time and money to be spent here in Child's Park. In St. Petersburg, I'm Jessica De Leon, ABC Action News.